वेलकम टू फायर्स एडुकेशनल वीडियो सीरीज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज टू इंट्रोड्यूस ट्रेंड लाइन डिस्कस ईच ऑफ इट्स थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू ट्रेड यूजिंग ट्रेंड लाइन अ ट्रेंड लाइन इज विदाउट अ डाउट द सिंपलेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज प्राइस टू what makes it especially appealing is that it is also highly effective when drawn properly furthermore a trend line can be drawn on all types of charts be it the line chart bar chart candle chart point and figure chart haikanashi chart etc in the previous video when we spoke about the concept of trend we said that there are three types of trends up down and sideways in a similar way there are three types of trend lines an upward sloping trend line a downward sloping trend line and a horizontal trend line let us now talk about each of these in greater detail an uptrend line is a straight line that connects successive rising supports In order to draw an uptrend line all that you need to do is identify at least two successive reactionary lows with the second low being above the first low and then connect those lows using a trend line This trend line must be extended into the future Going forward when the price experiences a correction and approaches the uptrend line one of two things could happen Number 1 price could take support at or near the uptrend line and bounce off it or number 2 price could break below the uptrend line if price takes support at or near the uptrend line and bounces off it the validity of this uptrend line is confirmed if not the uptrend line becomes invalid let us explain how to draw an uptrend line using the example of a hypothetical chart observe the two lows numbered 1 and 2 once the price bounces notably off the second low it can be assumed that a tentative low is in place an uptrend line can then be drawn connecting each of these two lows and projected into the future later at point 3 See how the price took support near the vicinity of this uptrend line and bounced right off it. This bounce confirms the validity of the uptrend line. Once an uptrend line is confirmed, you can expect that uptrend line to act as a future area of support so long as the price remains above the uptrend line. How do you use or trade based on an uptrend line? Well, Once the validity of the uptrend line is confirmed that line tends to act as a dynamic area of support as a result a trader could use any subsequent decline towards the trend line to buy the security in the case of this hypothetical chart points labeled 3 and 4 can be used as regions where one could buy the security what this uptrend line tells us is that the price is rising at a certain angle and is likely to continue doing so as long as the uptrend line remains intact but what happens when an uptrend line is broken well a break of an uptrend line gives an early warning that the prevailing uptrend could be changed in this chart such a warning came at point 5 when price broke below the uptrend line a sign that the prevailing uptrend line has weakened and could be about to change later see that the price went on to break the previous low of 0.4 signaling at a reversal in trend from up to down notice that the breach of the uptrend line gave an early warning about the trend change prior to the actual reversal in price in short when an uptrend line is validated one could use subsequent price correction towards the uptrend line to buy the security In case the uptrend line breaks one should be looking out to exit long positions and potentially look out to establish short positions This is the daily time frame chart 
Notice that the first two lows are connected using a trend line and then this trend line is projected forwards. See how the price took support at the trend line on the third, fourth and fifth retest. What is interesting to see is that the price briefly broke this trend line on the fourth retest for three consecutive bars. However, it never really sustained below it. This is an important point to be gleaned from this chart. Never aim for perfection. Don't expect price to exactly touch the trend line and reverse from there. While sometimes the price reverses exactly from the trend line, at other times it could reverse without touching the trend line or after briefly piercing the trend line. What is important is that you must monitor the price action closely for a few bars or candles once the price approaches the trend line. Later, see that the price broke below this trend line on the 6th retest. This was a warning that the prevailing uptrend is weakening. A few bars later, see that the price broke below the low of 0.5 indicating at a reversal in trend from up to down. This is the 4 hourly chart. In this case, what is interesting to observe is the third retest. See that the price bounced from near the vicinity of the trend line without touching it. This is something that you should expect and get used to in the real world. Perfect patterns seldom exist in the real world. Towards the fag end of the chart, notice that the price gave an early warning of the uptrend line weakening as it broke below the uptrend line before breaking below the low of 0.4. This is the one hourly chart. This uptrend line is drawn connecting points 1 and 2 and is then extended forward. Notice how the price took support precisely at this trend line at points 3, 4 and 5. Also notice the price action between points 2 and 3. See that the price approached the trend line several times and bounced without touching the same. This type of price action validates the strength of the trend line. Towards the fag end of the chart, see that the price broke the trend line. What is interesting to observe here is the trend line switching its role from support to resistance. To understand this, notice the red arrow. See how the trend line now acted as a resistance from where the price reversed lower. What we have here is the change of the polarity principle. An uptrend line once broken could act as a resistance to price going forward in time. As such, I highly recommend you extend the trend line infinitely to the right. This logic is applicable not only to an uptrend line, but also to a downtrend line and a sideways trend line. Let us now switch from an uptrend line to a downtrend line. A downtrend line is a straight line that connects successive falling resistances. To draw one, you need to identify at least two successive reactionary highs with the second high below the first high. Once the highs are identified, you must connect them using a trend line. In future, any approaches towards the trend line could be met with either the downtrend line acting as a resistance or the downtrend line breaking. If price takes resistance at or near the vicinity of the downtrend line and starts to decline, the validity of this downtrend line is confirmed. Drawing a downtrend line is similar to the way in which an uptrend line is drawn. Let us explain this using a hypothetical chart. Observe the two highs numbered 1 and 2. As the price made the second high and reverse lower, it can be assumed that a tentative high is in place. A downtrend line can then be drawn connecting the two highs and projected into the future. Later, at point 3, see how the price took resistance near the vicinity of this downtrend line and reverse lower. This decline from trend line resistance confirms the validity of the downtrend line. Going forward, you can expect the trend line to act as a future area of resistance so long as the price remains below it. 
trading a downtrend line is similar to the manner in which you trade an uptrend line. Once the downtrend line has been validated, you could use any subsequent rally towards the trend line to sell the security. In the case of this hypothetical chart, points labeled 3, 4 and 5 can be used as regions where one could sell the security. Meanwhile, once a downtrend line has been broken, it gives an early warning that the prevailing downtrend is ending. In this chart, such a warning came at point 6 where price broke above the downtrend line. Later, see that the price went on to surpass the previous high of point 5 signaling at a reversal in trend from down to up. Notice how the breach of the downtrend line gave an early warning about the trend change prior to the actual reversal in price. In short, when a downtrend line is validated, one could use subsequent price recoveries towards the trend line to sell the security. However, once the downtrend line breaks, one should be looking out to exit short positions and potentially look out at creating new long positions. This is the daily chart. A downtrend line is drawn connecting points 1 and 2. See how well this trend line acted as a resistance at points 3 and 4. Also notice the arrow marked in red. This represents a region where the price approached the trend line and reversed lower without actually touching it. You will frequently come across such actions in real world charts. Later, at point 5, see that the price broke above the downtrend line, giving an early warning that the downtrend line could be nearing an end. This is the two hourly chart. First, notice the trend line in red. This is drawn connecting two swing highs and projected into the future. However, see that there were multiple false break of this trend line in future. As such, this trend line must be ignored and a new one must be drawn in its place. Now focus on the black trend line. Notice how this trend line acted as a resistance to price on the third retest before the price broke above it on the fourth retest. Notice how sharply the price rose once it broke above this downtrend line. This is the 15 minute chart. A line chart is used in this case. Notice how the price took resistance at the downtrend line on the third retest before breaking above it on the fourth retest. Again, See how sharply the price rallied once the downtrend line broke. Let us now turn focus from a downtrend line to a sideways trend line. A sideways trend line is a straight line connecting successive resistances or successive supports that are essentially at identical levels. To draw one, you need to identify at least two successive reactionary lows or reactionary highs with the second low or high being at essentially a similar level as the first low or high. Once these points are identified, you must connect them using a trend line. If price takes resistance or support at or near the sideways trend line and starts moving in the opposite direction, the validity of this sideways trend line is confirmed. This may sound a little complex to digest, but let us simplify this concept using a chart. Let us now understand how to draw a sideways trend line using the example of a hypothetical chart. Observe the two lows numbered 1 and 2. As the price made the second low and moved higher, it can be assumed that a tentative low is in place. As these lows are at identical levels, a sideways trend line can then be drawn connecting these lows and projected into the future. Later, at point 3, See how the price took support near the vicinity of this sideways trend line and moved higher. This rise from the trend line support confirms the validity of the sideways trend line. Until broken, you can expect the sideways trend line to act as a future area of support. Meanwhile, also notice that the highs are situated close to each other. 
Because the highs are at slightly differing levels, a straight line can be drawn across the highest high or a zone can be drawn connecting the range of the highs with the objective of marking a region that can act as resistance in future. Notice the overall sideways trend here. What this chart tells us is that until the price remains within the confines of the two trend lines, it shall remain in a state of equilibrium. One thing that you must keep in mind is that trading in a sideways market can be quite tricky. This is because during a sideways market, price moves tend to be quite choppy and often tend to breach trend lines by a small margin before moving in the opposite direction. As a result, drawing a sideways trend line is usually not as straightforward and needs a great deal of flexibility. That said, once a sideways trend line has been validated, you could use approaches towards the trend line support to buy and hold your longs until the trend line resistance is reached. Similarly, you could use approaches towards the trend line resistance to sell and hold your shots until the trend line support is reached. As long as the price remains within the confines of the sideways trend line, you could keep deploying these range bound strategies. Alternatively, one could also deploy option strategies such as selling straddles or strangles to benefit from such range bound price movements. In this hypothetical chart, points 3 and 4 are regions where one could consider building long positions and holding on to them until the price reaches the resistance which is near the orange zone. Also, one could consider shorting at resistance and holding on to those shots until the support is reached. That said, once the sideways movement ends and price starts trending higher or lower, one needs to close out all the open positions and start trading in the direction of the break. In this chart, notice that the break came on the downside. This indicates that sellers have taken control of prices, causing the price to exit its range and start trending downwards. This is the 5 minute chart. Observe that two zones have been drawn rather than two lines. The reason for this is because when price is trading within a sideways trend, it is highly unlikely that it will make precise highs or lows. Price moves tend to be very choppy when it is stuck within a sideways trend. Hence, the highs or lows usually don't occur at identical levels. As such, you may frequently need to draw zones rather than lines as shown in this chart here. In this case, notice how the price was stuck within a lateral band. The resistance zone was tested four times while the support zone was tested twice. Within this zone, see that neither the buyers nor the sellers were in control of the price. When the price is stuck within a range with clearly visible resistances and supports, one could trade within this range by buying near support and exiting the position near resistance and vice versa. Eventually, see that the price broke below the support of this congestion. Notice that the broken support then acted as a minor resistance twice before the downside accelerated. This is the daily chart. Again, See that two zones are drawn rather than two lines because the highs and lows are not precisely at the same level, but rather at slightly differing levels. Notice that the upper zone acted as resistance thrice while the lower zone acted as a support four times. One could have used this congestion to buy near the bottom and exit near the peak and vice versa. Eventually, see that the price broke the support zone indicating that sellers have won over the battle between the bulls and bears. See how sharply the price dropped eventually. Before concluding, let us briefly summarize our learnings from this video. There are three types of trend lines, up, down and sideways trend line. Until broken, an uptrend line acts as a dynamic area of support to price 
while a downtrend line acts as a dynamic area of resistance to price. Because money is made by trading in the direction of the prevailing trend, when price is above an uptrend line, one should be on the lookout for buying opportunities. Similarly, when price is below a downtrend line, one should be on the lookout for selling opportunities. When a trend line breaks, it gives an early warning that the prevailing trend has weakened and could be in the process of changing. Well, that was all that we wanted to talk about in this video. If you liked our video, do not forget to click on the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the bell icon to receive regular updates from our site. Last but not the least, we have a dedicated space for School of Stocks related discussions on FIRES community. We encourage you to interact with us on our School of Stocks community page by visiting the link shared below. Thank you for watching this video.